कल प्रधानमंत्री जी ने पार्लियामेंट में दो घंटे तेरह मिनट भाषण किया उसमें अंत में दो मिनट उन्होंने मणिपुर की बात की A day after Narendra Modi's fiery speech in Parliament, defending his government against the opposition's no-confidence motion, Rahul Gandhi hits back at the Prime Minister. The Congress MP on Friday branded the Prime Minister a petty politician and accused him of mocking India in his two-hour speech. Manipur में महीनों से आग लगी हुई है. लोग मारे जा रहे हैं. बलात्कार हो रहा है. बच्चों को मारा जा रहा है और अगर आपने देखा होगा कल तो प्रधानमंत्री हंस हंस के बोल रहे थे मुस्कुरा रहे थे जोक्स क्रैक कर रहे थे हंस रहे थे ये उनको शोभा नहीं देता कम्बैटिव राहुल ऑल्सो लेट दैट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर वॉज फ्यूलिंग द मणिपुर फायर इन स्टेड ऑफ ट्राइंग टू डाउज इट इट विल टेक द इंडियन आर्मी Two days to put an end to the nonsense that is going on in Manipur. The Prime Minister refuses to stop the fire. He wants Manipur to burn. Prime Minister in his speech had accused the Congress of politicizing the Manipur issue and running away from the debate, referring to the walkout by the opposition. मैं आज बड़ी गंभीरता से कहना चाहता हूं नॉर्थ ईस्ट की इन समस्याओं की कोई जननी है तो जननी नहीं एकमात्र कांग्रेस है नॉर्थ ईस्ट के लोग इसके लिए जिम्मेवार नहीं है इनकी ये राजनीति जिम्मेवार है कांग्रेस के पति प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑल्सो लैश आउट एट राहुल फर्स्ट भारत माता जाए विच द कांग्रेस लीडर रिपीटेड ऑन फ्राइडे पता नहीं क्यों कुछ लोगों को भारत मां की मृत्यु की कामना करते नजर आ रहे हैं दरअसल जो इनके मन में है वही उनके कृतित्व में सामने आ जाता है फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम द वर्ड्स भारत माता हैव बीन एक्सपंज फ्रॉम द पार्लियामेंट इट्स एन इंसल्ट टू दोज वर्ड्स Whatever I said that is wrong. I have said Bharat Mata, which is an idea, which is the idea of India, where everybody lives peacefully, harmoniously, with affection, has been killed in Manipur. It's a fact. While Congress allies don't want 2024 to be a Modi versus Rahul battle, the no confidence motion has probably ended up doing exactly that. Bureau report, India Today. All right, we gave you a lowdown of what really happened through the monsoon session. Ultimately, uh, what a discussion was supposed to be on Manipur eventually became a talking point of Rahul Gandhi versus Prime Minister Modi's direct face-off. I have with me joining us on the panel today, Dr. Shama Mohammad, a national spokesperson of the Congress. We also have Sanju Verma, who is a national spokesperson of the BJP. Sanjay Singh, uh, the Aam Aadmi Party MP of the Rajya Sabha, who was suspended early on in the monsoon session. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, Sanjay Ji. आपको आवाज आ रही है? आपकी आवाज बहुत ही को कर रही है. All right, Hello. if I could ask. इसको ठीक करो. ठीक है. आप आप मैं अभी आपके पास आऊँगी, but I'd like. Uh, could you please fix his line on that? All right, Shama. Let me start with you. Uh, we, we, what we saw here in the in the last few weeks, the monsoon session was mostly a washout. We could say safely because there was no fruitful discussion, indeed, that came out on the Manipur issue. The opposition moved a no-confidence motion on the Manipur issue, but it was shameful that we saw the opposition leaders itself walking out multiple times while the government, multiple representatives of the government, were trying to make a point. Okay, so let me ask you, what is the point? What the prime minister made? It was, it was, you know, I was upset. I was sad that such an important issue like Manipur, where women were raped, where there are six thousand FIRs, where more than thousands and thousands of people are homeless, 
Many houses burned down. Many, more than 150 people killed. The Prime Minister of India for an hour and a half was mocking. He was laughing in Parliament. He was making jokes. And all the members of the Bhatia Janta Party were laughing along with him. Is that what you call a speech? Is that what you call what is right? I mean, we are all pained at what is happening. We want this to stop. We know that three days ago, if they're saying that there is peace three days ago, a gunman got into a house and killed a father and son, shot dead. They're saying it's the cookie who killed the Metis. My own leader, Rahul Gandhi ji, said today that when he went there, when he was going from a cookie area to a Methi area, the Methis have clearly said, don't bring the cookies. When you're going from the Methis to the cookie areas, they said, don't bring the Methis. The divide is huge. The Prime Minister of India, after that one and a half hour, spoke for three minutes. This is what you call the Prime Minister Sambhajan Chilta, what he feels for the country, for the people. What was that? I mean, I thought he would speak immediately and say, you know what, we need peace. All over the world, when there is internal strife, there's such a problem. The Prime Minister comes out, Presidents come out, Chancellors come out and say, we want peace. The Prime Minister of India came out after 80 days when a video went viral where two women were paraded naked, one was raped, and one was the wife of a Kargil war hero who clearly said, you know what, I have was at the battlefield of Kargil. I was at the front line, but what I faced here is worse than that battlefield. We heard it from our army, Jawan. Was the Prime Minister of India there to console him? Was the Prime Minister of India to say a single word to him? Or well, to another Shana, Jawan's uh, wife? We, we agree that this was, the was Manipur murder. was at its brink. I'm asking you that. We agree with you that Manipur was at its brink. But what, what good would come out when the house is a complete washout on both ends there is slogan airing, especially from the opposition's end. Uh, you could have come together to pass a resolution towards Manipur, unanimously done something together, collectively, for the sake of Manipur, but we saw nothing less than politics that played out even from the opposition side. You refuse to discuss the issue unless and yeah, until the, the Prime Minister the is present. India, in the history of... That's what is the problem, because the Prime Minister did not speak outside Parliament. We wanted the Prime Minister not just to speak in Parliament, we wanted him to speak before. Since he refused to you know, speak, we said he should I speak need to now. now. Everybody speaks on it. And in the history of India, uh, let, let, wait, wait, shut your mouth. In the history of India, a no-confidence motion, the Prime Minister of India, all no-confidence motion, sits for three days and listens to the Rabina. opposition. You know that. That is what right. is the history. Why is this man, why does he just walk in like a hero five minutes before like this guy and then starts mocking Manipur? All right. Shame we on the Prime you. Minister Let me bring in Sanju Varma on this. Uh, Sanju, this, this was a this job that was given by the opposition right from the start that Prime Minister Modi is no Bhagwan. He is an elected representative, uh, representative himself, the Prime Minister of the country, and he is responsible to be in the parliament and address the house. Nabila, am I audible? Because, you know, there's yes, some problem yes, with your please. audio. Yes, please. go on. Okay. You know, first and foremost, this Congress panelist saying, shut your mouth, when all I said was that, you know, I need my time. It just shows that she's frustrated, right. desperate, just like her leader, Rahul Gandhi, who has been booted out twice by the electorate in Lok Sabha 2014 and Lok Sabha 2019. So this madarsa bread bigot needs to zip it and you shut up. Okay? Shut up, my lady, and listen. Nabila, I will just say this. Look at the entire sequence of events in the last couple of weeks. First, they said Prime Minister needs to make a statement. When he did so outside the uh, parliament, they said it was just a 36-second long statement. Fine. Then they said that we want a discussion under Rule uh, you know, 267 and not Rule 176. Then, when Amit Shah said that on the 11th of August, I you know, beseech the opposition, we will answer every query of yours. We will have an exhaustive discussion. You know, uh, they uh, chose not to cooperate. And if you notice, uh, you know, uh, Amit Shah very categorically and exhaustively laid out all the steps. More than 50,000 people evacuated, buffer zones created, more than 14,898 people arrested, nine of the key culprits accused of gang raping that uh, those two Kuki women, uh, you know, they have been arrested, more than 1,100 FIRs made, more than 100 tons of food and fuel uh, distributed to the uh, cookies and mighty communities via NH38 and NH39. 36,000 armed forces personnel deployed there to ensure peace and tranquility. But I just want to ask one thing, Nabila, because on your show, I'm sure that the BJP also has FOE. While Justice Chandrachur has said that don't compare Manipur with any other state, I 
agree with it. But on your show, I want to ask, why is it every senior leader of BJP has condemned what happened to those two cookie women, including myself? I say nothing less than capital punishment. But look at the sheer hypocrisy of the Congress. Not once the lady called Priyanka Vadra who said, Larki who, lar sakti who, who can fly to Hathras when there was a gang rape in Karoli, Rahul Gandhi, Kemuna Dahi Jamgya. When there was a gang rape in Jodhpur in Rajasthan, Rahul Gandhi ke mume dahi jam gaya. When a minor was raped in Bhilwara and again raped inside the hospital premises, Rahul Gandhi ke mume dahi jam gaya. When there were two sisters who were gang raped in Alwar in Rajasthan, with one of them seven and a half months pregnant, give me ten seconds. Neither Rahul Gandhi nor Sonia Gandhi nor Priyanka Vadra even shower crocodile tears. So we don't need lessons on morality and women empowerment. From a shabby and shoddy it's Congress party. Absolutely but agree with you on that. Me. Sanju, agree with whatever you said. She but to, but to compare it at a time finish. when Manipur is at the brink, when we're looking at finish? over 150 deaths, 6,500 pending FIRs, lacks of weapons that have been I stolen mean, that can be used finish. against the army. That. It's a dire situation, a civil may war like situation in the state of Manipur, may which I is finish? part of India. And instead of discussing the very situation in a state which is, uh, which is under your rule, uh, we're, we're, we hear you shifting goalposts, speaking about Rajasthan, speaking about West May Bengal and everything else except for the actual issue at hand. You know, you did not allow me to complete. You've raised a valid concern, I allow you to and, Yes, thank you so much. I'm the last person to shoot and scoot like the opposition which wanted a discussion but did not have the decency to wait for the Prime Minister to complete his speech. They staged a walkout. And by the way, Rahul Gandhi who kept saying Manipur, Manipur, Manipur. I barely saw him during discussions. Gaurav Gogoi who moved and moved the no-confidence motion when Om Birla asked at the end of Prime Minister's speech, do you want to reply? He chose not to reply. This is the kind of callous behavior showcased by the so-called top brass of uh, the Congress. But I just want to say one thing to you, Navira. I am not going to sit here and say that Manipur is just an ethno-religious conflict or it is a legacy issue or it is a uh, you know uh, issue of infiltration from Myanmar. It is a cocktail of various things, including the war on narco-terror and the war against rampant poppy cultivation, which the Modi government has undertaken. But I want to come to the mood of it. If you notice in every discussion on Manipur, there is one thing that the opposition says without fail. Nabila, Remove this is going on too long. I'll come Remove to you, Shama. Derancing. Can I finish? Remove and derancing. I want to ask you, Nabila. Amit Shah on the floor of the House said that Article 356 has never been generously used by the Modi government under Vajpayee and Modi together. It has been used on nine occasions. Whereas Article 356 was used seven times by Nehru, six times by Rajiv Gandhi, 49 times by Indira Gandhi, 10 times by Manmohan Singh, and 11 times by P.V. Narasimha Rao, 83 times. So we will not use Article 356. We will ensure that N. Biren Singh is held accountable and he's cooperating with the ha centre. So why how, are you, uh, how are you ensuring that the, that the Chief Minister is held accountable? His, you have not asked for his resignation. He, he, he resigned and then uh, tore the resignation saying I will continue. He's clearly ma mishandled the entire situation in Manipur and still is unable to take responsibility for it. We've not heard oh, no. one word of an apology or a, a, you know, a statement where he's actually taken responsibility. Neither from him, neither from you. No one from the BJP has taken responsibility yeah, for what in. has happened. The man, the mishandling of Manipur, there's no one who's taken responsibility and that's the fact. No, no. Uh, stay I with us. No, 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 I will, I will I cut across to Shama. Shama, no, isn't this no, no, lost opportunity? No, no, you had the biggest wrong, opportunity to, to rake this up uh, in a positive yeah, manner at least. Wrong, that, would, that would trickle down for, uh, as some help for the people of Manipur, but instead we saw the entire monsoon session being a complete oh, washout at, at a time when you had to stay in the parliament and ask Nabila, pertinent questions to the people in governance. You you staged a walkout. You staged a walkout. You are not here as a panelist, Nabila Jamal. No, we had to do it because, uh, because the prime minister. Oh, just tell the lady to. Nabila, I can't have a discussion like this. Please, please so go on, Shama. Article three fifty. Nabila, we walked out because the the prime minister, the prime minister. I have shut your mouth. Now, Shama, the Prime uh, Minister, please, the Prime Minister can, can we please get to the conversation? Miss Sanju, please give me a you, moment. Uh, go on, Shama. Like, you asked me to speak, Nabila. That's yes, why please I'm go speaking. on. Please now, go what is on. Wrong? I didn't speak when she was speaking. So, Article 356 was there in Uttarakhand in 2016. For what? 
they change chief ministers when elections happen yadurappa in karnataka they change rupani in gujarat three chief ministers in uttarakhand but when there is strife and they know that their own mla haukip said you know what he said please tell biren singh to rein in his meethi militias and he also said this is a bjp mla if mr narendra modi did not see that video or if the video did not become viral the prime minister of india would not have spoken it's not us eight or 10 of the bjp meethi mlas have gone to pmo and said they have lost faith in biren singh Let's understand. Though we know that they've the also CBI pulled back from the alliance, right the, the Koki alliance has pulled out. Or, we know let, all of let, that. Let we finish. know all of that. But where was the strong no, footing from the opposition? No, apart no, from slogan airing, CBI... uh, shouting and screaming inside the parliament, no, there wasn't asked... a proper, uh, a, a comprehensive no, debate, no, no, discussion that would actually trickle down as help to the people of Manipur. Nabila, you did not. It was. It was more or less political positioning for the India bloc. Nabila, Nabila, you did not interrupt her. This is Shab, not fair. Shab, you want a fair debate? Let me speak. And on top of that, on top of that, the CBI is probing. Uh, CBI is probing. She is asking about. She was talking about Rajasthan. She was talking about other things. Let me just tell her. No, Nabila has been stopped from going to Rajasthan. Arrests have been made in Rajasthan. The thing here is, just Chief Justice has there is CBI probe going on. What did he do? He put a senior police officer to monitor the CBI probe and report to him. That means the Chief Justice, the Supreme Court, has lost faith in the central government as well as the state government. But they refuse to ask Virendra Singh to step down. That is the thing. What? Who is accountable over here? Where is the accountability here? All right. And let, let me take that to Sanjay Verma. The Sanjay, Prime please. Minister of India yesterday. You can respond. The Prime Minister of India. Yes, sir. No, the Prime Minister of India. One last point. One last point. The Prime Minister of India yesterday said. It cannot be a one-sided debate. Yesterday, the Prime Minister of India said, Indira Gandhi, Indira Gandhi attacked the people of Mizoram. Indira Gandhi attacked the Mizo National Front, who in on March first, nineteen sixty-six, said they yeah, want a separate country. And Mrs. Debate, Gandhi, in fifteen days, got us back. So the Prime okay. Minister of India has lied okay. in Parliament. Okay, Sanju Walga, your turn. Prime Minister of India has lied in Parliament. Parliament. The Prime Minister. Sanju, please respond. Thank you. Please respond. Nabila, Go on. Yes, I'm coming. I I heard you, Nabila. Let me speak now. You know, let me be very clear. Whether you know Shama Muhammad likes it or not, I don't care to whoots. It is a fact that on the 5th of March and on the 6th of March, 1966, thanks to Indira Gandhi's incompetence and insensitivity, the Indian Air Force was forced to attack the people of Mizoram. on their own homeland and nothing can be nothing can be more shameful than that and for the congress party nabila which tells that the prime minister was laughing and joking excuse me your rahul right. gandhi she is so said that the mizo national flying mizo national he was flying, flying a separate state nabila i refuse to debate so when she was making a point i did not interject Nabila, can you take me on the screen alone? I refuse yeah, to be there. Yeah, you, uh, uh, Shama, you you've got to give Sanju Verma a moment to respond. Sanju, please go on, and and you, and I'd also like to add a question, Sanju, since you're uh, you know in a spirited uh, mood to, de to debate on the matter. There are so many suspensions uh, within the opposition. We saw many of the opposition party netas being suspended. Uh, we had Sanju, uh, we had uh, Sanjay Verma, in fact, joining us, uh, but unfortunately, we lost his connection. Uh, but at that at that question there is on what are the what is the real structure when it comes to suspending mps in the house if you don't have opposition okay. netas and those especially asking pertinent questions being suspended then how are you going to have a proper debate on an issue as burn, as important as manipur i will answer that but i need my time i just have this to say you know in 20 seconds this is a very sensitive topic i'll come to your question you asked what has the government done for manipur you know please let us not forget nabila i am saying yes what happened in the last 3 months uh, that is unfortunate but manipur became a state on the 21st of january 1972 and in the last 6 years ever since the bjp came to power in manipur in 2017 they have been the most peaceful years in 2010 11 for 149 days at a stretch there was curfew then we had the congress government at the center and i want to ask one question to you nabila who signed the assam accord In 1985, Rajiv Gandhi was the PM. When was Mizo Accord signed in 1986? When Rajiv Gandhi was the PM. When was Tripura Accord signed in 1988? When Rajiv Gandhi was the PM. When was the Bodo Accord, si Accord signed in 1993? When P. G. Narasimha Rao was the PM. Now, what happened was that all these accords were signed by us by incompetent Congress leaders, but they failed to fulfil anything that was in. 
ingrained in these accords by way of giving rights to either the indigenous Nepo people, either the indigenous Assamese people, or the indigenous right. Tripuri people. You know, why is it that this, you know, Navila, the moment I stop speaking, you get I have barely 30 seconds. I have barely 30 seconds. I want seconds. to finish. I want to finish what I was saying. I want to say this to you. Sanju, I want to say this to you. Sanju, I want to say this to you. I did not get my time to speak. You, you have to have a free run. I have 30 seconds. Sanju, make your point. I'm going to go. You get a free run. Thank you. Nabila, let me finish. I want to tell to your show, to everybody who's watching you, Nabila, and Rahul Gandhi, the incompetent Congress uh, air needs to know that the first goods train reached Manipur thanks to Narendra Modi. The first broad gauge in Assam happened thanks to Narendra Modi. Okay. Five lakh households in Manipur are getting. I'm in very sorry. My apologies, water. Sanju. Thanks. My apologies, Sanju. Uh, we are short on time. And uh, Shama Mohammed, I, I'm sorry I couldn't take your last word on this. We're really short on time on this. But it's, it's a fact that the weeks of the monsoon session went by in a complete washout. Of course, when, when we speak of who won the no-confidence motion, no doubt the, uh, the BJP without the NDA allies had its numbers. But this was political positioning. It was less about Manipur, more about the fight to 2024. Thank you very much for watching.